Yo, what a thing you told me it's time to hop in my old because your back is boy, your boy is back. I say your back is boy, your boy is back. I didn't even mean to say that. I was about to stop the recording and start all over on this, but I don't even care, man. Hope oh, everybody having a good night. It's 6 31 Wednesday, bruh. Listen, I hope y'all been reacting to that vessel. Not reacting it, watching it. See, look, I'm thinking y'all me and I'm y'all. <laughs> Listen, but look. Invincible not coming back to January? No, they ain't even got no release date. Invincible not coming back to 2024? What is going on, bro? First, we got Mappa tripping. Now we got Invincible only dropping four episodes? When we supposed to get four more in the next upcoming month? Like, come on, bro. This getting, it's like, it's becoming too much. But then my motherfucking school leaving me. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. But look, that last episode was so fire, and I'm just here to watch it with y'all and react to it from my boy, I'm Kevin. He make hilarious videos. Well, let's go ahead and get into this, man. Yeah, man, I woke up this morning with a big smile on my face because when it's Friday, that means another episode of Invincible. So another episode of Invincible. I was like, ain't no way this is the real Omni Man. Turns out. He was. was man. So after he pumbled Mark as if that nigga stepped on his jade or something, we all remember that bro just flew off. We had no idea where he went. This whole time, he was just flying through space. No destination in mind. Bro was just drifting. And the part that really got to me is when he was really going to let himself drift into the black hole. Seeing someone like Omni-Man wanting to disconnect from the server really shows how he regrets <laughs> some of the things he's done. Bro said disconnect the from the server. We saw last episode, we're getting dragged in there until Omni-Man stopped him and brought them back to their planet. And look at my nigga. He looks the fuck. How did he know where to go? Right when he was about to dip, the alien stopped him and asked him to stay, which brings us How would you ever know how to travel in so space? Mark balls up his fist, took off his shicey, and I was expecting nothing but hands to be thrown. But I was wrong. He just hugged him. But right after, they started arguing. Omni-Man was like, yo, pull up. I need your help with something. But Mark was like, nigga, why the fuck would I want to help you after what you've done? Then Omni-Man proceeds to say, look, I made a mistake. Now, Omni-Man, you know I fuck with you heavy, but I gotta keep it up. <laughs> that was a terrible response. Bro said a mistake. Nigga, the mistake you made was more than just a mistake. You literally used your son's face to he eviscerate everyone on that train. Then proceeded to whoop his ass afterwards. You're lucky enough that he even wants to speak to you after that. But one thing led to another and Mark eventually killed Built him. Built are built to have no feelings. Omni-Man shows him. Come on, bro. Oh, oh nah. God. Yo, this nigga really went from an iPhone 13 and downgraded to the 6. Why are you dilly dallying with an insect? Who caught their bro? iPhone That's 13? Cricket. Nah, after committing that crime of violating my eyes, I'm revoking the title Omni Man from your ass. You're simply Nolan for the rest of this episode. And what made it worse is that this nigga hit that, had a whole nother child. Lil' bro is not. <laughs> Why he come out purple so though? Nolan explained that Viltrum knows that he dipped out without leaving a two week notice and was about to spin the block any day now. That's when Nolan started gaslighting this nigga on some. Bro, you're really just gonna let these people die like that? Like I thought you wanted to save lives, but I guess not. <laughs> The crazy part is he didn't even get a chance to make it. The squirt with sound walking away is funny. Plane to get here that fast. So Nolan said he was gonna hold down the front lines while Mark takes him to safety. And I'm now convinced these Viltrumites all have a built-in UAV. Cause first they randomly snatched up my nigga Allen and the so-called secret safe place they went to got invaded by Steve Harvey the moment they stepped foot on that premises. He wasted no time and backhanded the shit out of Mark. But he wasn't gonna sit on the sidelines like a little bitch. Jumped in with a mean right hook. I was like, hold on, they're Bro actually do some damage? Nope. Nah, I don't know who I thought Mark this was. This episode was Steve so crazy. Like was and then for them to talk about you. this so ain't coming back for about four and a half a while? So Steve knocked him down. And I know that shit hurt. Cause bro's head hit the ground and his whole body bounced up. And then he proceeds to do one of the most disrespectful things I ever seen. He laid his finger on his head and had that nigga fighting for his life. <laughs> Filter mites are crazy, bro. But luckily, yo daddy came to save your ass. Double weave him to the knuckle sandwich that hit him with a two piece. Steve got a few licks him and pushed him to the wall, but no one got that same. This how we expect uh, Superman to be acting from Krypton. Wall, but no one was like, I right, nigga, you pissing me off now. Sliced his stomach open, grabbed the nearest rock, and ran it through his body. So after he bodied Steve, Mark joined his squad, and now they're running duos. Once they made it outside, they saw that everyone got murked. 
that Nolan turns around, grabbed Mark's neck, and he was getting upset because he was feeling empathy. Now, I got no problem with empathy, but please don't use that as an excuse to make Nolan go soft. So they got pulled up on by the other two. What else is they going to use as an excuse, though, to make Nolan go soft, bro? Because what else is you going to feel when you see other people... There is no, uh, there is nothing that can snatch you from what you're doing besides you feeling empathy for somebody. So what else is they going to use to make Nolan go soft? What, see, old girl died? That's still empathy. Everything that has to do with going soft is empathy. Feeling for somebody else. Nolan instantly went after bro while Mark is stuck fighting homegirl. Weak. And then Nolan looks away. And we all know whenever you look away mid squabble is a guaranteed tick to your health bar. Then we see Mark and honestly I would hate to fight homegirl. Cause even when she missed her combo, she hit him with a command grab. Luckily Nolan came through with that hand But that did not her old ass. Oh. Then he took the other nigga and threw it at homegirl. So Nolan dropped down and was like, bro, what are you doing? Lock the fuck in. But right after saying that, homegirl came back and started dribbling this nigga. Mark is so lucky he the main character because if that was anybody else getting dribbled like that, it would have been a clear sign that this is your last. That's spot. cold, bro. All and this was so cold. Lock the fuck in, and bro started moving like a seasonal boxer. Uppercut, caught the leg, then hit her with the elbow to the mean left hook. Bro dashed in, blocked two hits, weave two pieces. <laughs> Mark was going and crazy. The triple body shots into the back fist. Yo, this is what I like to see. This is the Mark we need from now on. So he walked her down. Down, grabbed her hair and tossed her into the structure then we got this little compilation of them beating each other ass but mark was trying to prove a point bro squished her face into the wall hulk slammed her shit into the pavement but not gonna lie at the end when she hit him with that double gut punch yeah i just know that combo would have been filthy anytime <laughs> a combo starts like Thanks. that just know you finna get pieced up then we see nolan crack that nigga scalati like a walnut and mark whooped her ass too but bro doesn't have the guts to catch the body just yet so instead he caught a knife to the stomach Ultramites don't play. Luckily, no mercy. To save his ass again. And bro made her do a whole windmill into his elbow. And then when everything. That was a crazy fine, finish. Somehow this nigga Steve is still alive and came through with a backbreaker. Like bro, this nigga is holding his guts up. How is he still moving? So now they locking Nolan up and bro is over here chatting about his books. He must have some hidden cheat code in there for that to be the last words he said. Then Mark wakes up to General Krieg standing over his body. Yo, the moment Mark says something, he got served a mean knuckle sandwich. Then he continues. And he was talking like he ain't just violate this nigga but he pretty much says that nolan is going to get executed and now mark has to conquer earth in his place now obviously mark isn't going to conquer anything and nolan is somehow going to avoid execution but i have no clue how they can handle an army of viltramites now i'm like that's what i'm trying to figure it sure out that nolan was stronger than the nobody, on earth, nobody on earth is going to handle nobody on earth was able to handle nolan so if they were boxing once they invade start, earth nolan it's over over easily but while all that was going on, Debbie was going through it. You know it's bad when they got you walking barefoot. Like how you put on every other accessory, but not your shoes. So later on, she's chilling, looking at old pictures, and some dude knocks on the door. See, I got two problems with this. First of all, I did not say your ass can come in. And second, nigga, you just walk straight onto the carpet with your shoes on? Nah, not as some <laughs> villainous behavior. But not gonna lie, he put up and dropped a quote on us, bro. He was like, Nolan got superpowers. He's indestructible. That's not strength. That's having it easy. <clears throat> nah, bro was spin. Then the next morning, she's talking to Cecile and pretty much says she don't want his handouts. She's got rid of them books, bro. And Donald knocks on the door trying to speak to Debbie because the last time she saw him, she acted like she's seen a ghost. So he pulls up to his office, signed into Cecile's account, and watched the footage of him getting his back blown out. So I'm assuming after seeing that, he was trying to disconnect from the server but when he looked at the knife the tip was bent see i wouldn't even know how to feel in that situation because on one hand nothing feels wrong to you the memories you got feel real but on the other you just saw yourself get put into a pack who knows how many times you could have died and just been brought back to the reboot Facts. but it seems like everyone is going through something this episode because eve is still feeling bad about building on unstable land and almost getting people killed now what makes her worse some random broke into her crib now with the way she was talking i knew she just wanted to whoop this nigga Ass for real. Why did she switch the outfit on so quick? Falling from the sky, and not gonna lie, this nigga is sorry. Got all his attacks blocked. Try to hit her with debris, but once she caught it, he knew.
knew it was raps. Grabbed him mid-air and slammed him to the wall. I just shook my head. Nigga should have stuck to the grocery stores. And you know how lucky he is? Because when Eve botched his attack, it hit some random car. Now, obviously, Eve was going to save them, but this nigga really had the audacity to stand over her like she not finna hit you with a mean reversal. Now, bro should have turned Adam Eve is so cold, bro. She might be the second coldest fair. character up in there. I ain't so seen her really take no L's yet. People, but we have no clue if they live or not. And we all know if someone is on an empty bus staring out the window, they're on their depressed arc right now. So now she's staying with her parents and I have the feeling she gonna be on her Tobey Maguire shit, throwing away the suit for a little while. Also, the Mahler twins are back and since there's clearly a big homie now, the clone just became a slave. But that nigga was not going for that. Ended up poisoning big homie's drink. And I got absolutely zero idea where the Mahler story is going on from here. But did y'all hear that the season isn't continuing to 2024 right when the story was picking up too they cooked with these last four episodes but i guess they ran out of i want to know something why are the maulers not able to work together he keep cloning himself and then betraying himself like what his mind so wrapped around himself like i'm confused with dude like i'm confused in that last scene why he even like who who cares who the clone or who's not we both the same person to be honest same mindset, saying everything. You just got my memories and all, but dude, mad and talk about some. I do this, not gonna do that. But look, that is smart, but it's not because bro have half a bro body is messed up. But look, bro, it is what it is. At the end of the day, Invincible ain't coming back to next year. I don't know how to feel about that. Hopefully, we get a Jujutsu Kaisen episode this week. I don't know how to feel about that. And. That shit still like for some reason. I'm trying to watch episode 40, I believe. Thunderclap part two. It's not playing. Like there is no play button, but you can go to episode 41. There is no play button on, at all, bro. And it's really starting to upset me. But be looking out for the next reaction video. Peace and blessings. Catch y'all next time. And yeah, peace.